Hello, listener. Here's one for the mailbag, submitted by Crystal Carter. I call this one, Grandpa's Ghost. My grandpa was my hero in my eyes. He passed away from a stroke when I was four years old. I was a wild child when I was small. I used to run around the house and play. My mom stayed at home with me until I was old enough to go to school. Then she went on to be a nurse. I was running about playing in our house one day. I heard his voice. The voice of my grandpa calling my nickname. Tissy. Tissy, come here. I was looking around our house. Pa, where are you? Tissy, the voice called again. I continued to look for my grandpa. I looked in my mother and father's bedroom. I looked in the kitchen calling out, Pa, where are you? I went into my playroom and the voice got louder. Come here, Tissy. Come closer. I slowly pulled the curtains back on the window that led out to my back porch. There in this window was just his face. He looked at me directly and said, Tissy, I've missed you. I stared at him, eyes focused on his brown eyes. I was happy to see him. It was months since I had saw him. My parents left me with my father's relatives while they had his funeral. They thought I was too small to deal with the death. I reached out to the window, tried to touch his face. The image distorted and his face started floating away from the window, off of the porch, out into the backyard near my swing set. His full body materialized. He started motioning at me, Tissy, come outside. I was scared now. His long fingers with razor-looking fingernails on the ends of his hands. I screamed for my mom, but could only squeak out. He continued to call my name and motioned at me with those fingernails. I can never, ever forget those nails. Those creepy, horrible, dirty nails. My grandfather was a tall man with big hands. He was a very loving, kind man. I shook my head and said, No, Pa, I can't come outside. He moved to the swing set. He sat down on the swing and started moving it back and forth. Then, I noticed you could see through his entire body. I remember this is the point I started to cry. I shut the curtain as quickly as I could and ran into our living room. My mom was in the kitchen making me a sandwich. I tossed the couch blankets over my head and started to rock. I was trying to cope with what I saw, but I couldn't unsee. My mom came to me and asked me why I was crying under the blanket. All I could say was, Mama, I saw Paul. My mom had not been coping with the death of her father very well. I remember she was in bed for almost a month. My mother was heartbroken that she had to put him in a nursing home. The same one where she now works and has for 25 years. I can't imagine walking past a room where my father died for 25 years. I know it's still hard on her. She had a car accident when I was eight. And she said she saw him on the stairs to heaven then. Her head was split open in the back and she had been bleeding and the hospital didn't know this and so I walked into the room and saw the blood and saw my mama is bleeding. Someone help her. My mother pulled the blanket off my head and said I was white as a ghost. I refused to eat or go in my playroom for days. I didn't want to see him again. Some people say spirits are demons. Some people say I didn't see him at all that day in November. I know what I saw. I know I heard his voice. What would have happened to me if I went outside? Just went past my mother in the kitchen and straight outside. I've told this story a few times over the years to very few people. This has always made me interested in the paranormal. Was this all my imagination or did my kid eyes really see this? I search for confirmation of this every day. After 40 years on this earth, I am still trying to find out what I saw. Was it my paw or a demon? I love you, Pa, and I missed you 
every day of my life since you left. I hope you are proud of me. Love, your Tissy. I'll see you again soon, listeners. I hope you enjoyed my reach into the mailbag. Remember, the pain we feel from losing a loved one never truly goes away. It just fades a bit with time.